Hi, Ra here at uh, JP Wilderness Park, Truckee Park in uh, Pasco County, Florida. And we're at the McNeil Homestead, 1882. Uh, so this is plot of land. Section 6, Township 26S, Reign 17E, was surveyed in January 1847 for the newly formed state of Florida by Deputy Surveyor George Watson. In 1851, the state government cleared the, Interna the Internal Improvement Board to encourage settlement, decrease the threat of Indian uprisings, and provide funds for internal improvements such as roads. The land was purchased from this board in 1882 by James McNeil, a veteran of the Civil War, 1st Regiment, Florida Infantry. Confederate States of America tax records indicate it was later owned by J.M. Mitchell from 1906 to 1915, and L.L. Anderson from 1915 to 1937, and J.B. Starkey, who this park's named after, from 1937 to 1972, before its present ownership by Swift Mud. The remains of this early cracker homestead indicate activities including farming, timber, green, turpentine, and turpentine production. And it's also a pa Pasco County historical landmark. Down this trail exists the remains of an early Florida homestead. Nature is slowly reclaiming it. In 1882, James McNeil, aged 39 and a veteran of the Confederate Army during the Civil War, purchased this property from the state of Florida in what was then Hernando County. He, his wife Martha, and three children lived in a small log cabin and farmed this land. Its location on higher elevation in this pretty oak hammock between the watersheds of the Pithlachaska Hody and the Ankle Rivers with adjacent natural prairie made an ideal place to settle. The site has been left in its natural condition after more than 100 years of neglect and appears as you will find it searching through the woods of Florida. Look for the remains of a well, animal pens, cabin, and a family grave as you follow the trail. This well was lined with brick and was most likely made around the late 1800s. The minimal depth of the well was due to the shallow water table of and surrounding lakes. This well was most likely the main source of water for both the livestock livestock and inhabitants of this farm. You basically just see some of the bricks that are left over. Looks like the hog has been in here rooting a little bit too. Okay, what we got here? These discarded old car parts and other trash at this site are the cast-offs from past inhabitants of this farm. The treasure of these artifacts lie in the information they reveal when combined with other objects. Archaeologists don't only dig for artifacts, but mainly for the information these clues leave behind. Animal pens. Two animal pens made of wire and raw, rough hewn boards still exist on this property. Small livestock such as hogs and goats were most likely kept here.
Log cabin. The two notched logs and small mound of earth containing metal roofing material and bricks are all that remain of a 10 by 20 building made of logs. A small kitchen area that possibly stood off to the side of, on the left. It was still standing when Mr. J.B. Starkey Sr. bought the land in 1937. There's not much left of it, is there? Grave site. Pioneer frontier graves were often surrounded by rocks, seashells, or pieces of household pottery. Without readily available transportation to take the, de the deceased to a cemetery, family members were often buried on the property soon after death. Research of early census records suggests this is the grave site of James McNeil's first wife, Martha, 1849, and his son, Donald, 1870. They died before 1880. Early sur surveys indicate this was once a pasture. Evidence of a fence still exists separating the home site from the pasture where animals grazed. All right, well that looks like about it. So if you're passing through Pasco County, Florida, come check out the McNeil Homestead. There's plenty of biking also in this park and hiking to do. There's cabins you can rent. So it's kind of nice.